Today in the news, we got some Threadripper, a boot kit, and mind control. What's up, guys? I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with AMD. The Zen 2 3rd Gen Ryzen series gives us a wide range of CPUs from 6 to 12 cores available right now for the mainstream market. And later in September, we'll even have a 16 core CPU available. But Ryzen 3000 is just that, a mainstream line of processors. What happens if you want to get something with more PCIe lanes, more power, more cores, but still benefit from the Zen 2 architecture? Well, you would have to wait for Threadripper 3. Now, earlier this year, Threadripper seemed to have vanished from AMD's plans, but it looks like we just got an update on that. According to Digitimes, both Intel and AMD plan to release new top-end desktop CPUs in October. And since AMD already revealed all of their top ends for the mainstream market, all that would be left is the high-end desktop segment, aka Threadripper 3. Now I wonder how AMD will handle Threadripper 3 since we now have two Ryzen 3000 CPUs that have the same core count as two of the current Threadripper CPUs. Here is what I think might happen. I think AMD will go with a 24, 32, 48, and 64 core lineup. Now, I know what you might say, but that would cannibalize the Epic Rome lineup. Well, Epic was never really meant for consumers, and it has advantages that are suited for it, like dual socket, 128 PCIe lanes, up to four terabytes of RAM, etc., etc. But what do you guys think? Do you think AMD might stick to 32 cores and call it a day, since Zen 2 is already a really big improvement, or do you have other theories? Let me know down below. Next up, AMD has revived their boot kit program for those who are buying Ryzen 3000 CPUs for their 300 or 400 series motherboards. The boot kit is free provided you return it to AMD. It includes an Athlon 200GE with a small cooler. This allows you to update the BIOS to make sure it is compatible with your Ryzen 3000 CPU. You then just send back the CPU with the prepaid label AMD provided. You can keep the cooler though if that's something that you want. Now, why would you need that kit? Well, if you buy a B450 board or older, and it turns out it's been sitting in the uh, seller's warehouse forever, it might not have an up-to-date BIOS. Similarly, if you're upgrading from a Zen or Zen Plus system and you already sold your old CPU, you might need that kit if you forgot to update your BIOS. It's nice to see AMD is at least offering a solution for those who might come across a problem like that. Moving on, it looks like if you wanted some RAM or some SSDs, you might want to get on that as soon as possible. Taiwan's Digitimes has spoken to its sources about the current state of NAND and DRAM chips, and the memory makers like Adata, Team Group, and Fizon are apparently thinking about a price hike, something in the range of 10 to 15%. Apparently, they are also looking at enforcing a limited supply policy. This doesn't sound good. In fact, it sounds like price fixing, and we might see the result of it over the next few weeks or months. Hopefully we get an intervention from the proper authorities, similarly to what happened in 2017 when China decided to pay attention to the problem and then the memory prices suddenly started to go back down. Anyways, you have been warned, if you wanted some memory, try to get on it ASAP. In gaming, it looks like we got our first look at the Uplay Plus subscription service. In case you didn't know, Uplay Plus is Ubisoft's version of a sort of Xbox Game Pass for PC. You have access to 108 games at launch, including new releases and beta releases, which is pretty cool. The only bad thing is the pricing. Uplay Plus costs $15 US per month. On the other hand, Xbox Game Pass for PC is just five bucks a month. At least if you are considering it, a free trial is going to be available from September 3rd to the 30th. During this time frame, the Ghost Recon Breakpoint beta will be available from the 5th to the 8th. I might get on it for the free trial, but I'm not going to subscribe to the service. The pricing is absurd in my opinion, especially since you can only play Ubisoft titles. Lastly, in the news, we got a mind control company applying for FDA human trials. Yep, quite literally mind control chips. Elon Musk's company Neuralink wants to do human trials as early as next year for their N1 implant that would allow control over certain devices like a mobile phone, a mouse, a keyboard, and things like that. The N1 would literally connect into the brain tissue on one end using some wispy sensors and then be routed to a device outside of your head on the other. That external device would contain the battery and connect via Bluetooth to your smartphone. Apparently 
apparently it's even gonna have a USB-C port. I'll leave a link to the presentation down below, but damn, that's some 2077 type of stuff right there. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for the news today. Hopefully you've enjoyed. If you got any questions, you know where to put them. Leave a like too if you liked it. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here. To subscribe to the channel, it would be greatly appreciated while a truck is passing right on my street right now. Anyways, take care, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Stay frosty.